In this grasshopper definition, we'll take a look at creating cross supports between any two curves. First, in the params tab, under the geometry section, I'll grab two curve components and drag them to the canvas. Next, I'll assign two circles that I've drawn in Rhino to each of these curve components. Right click over the curve component, choose set one curve, and pick each of the curves respectively. Next, I'd like to divide each of these curves and receive a series of points in return. So under the Curve tab, Division section, I'll choose the Divide Curve component, and I'll actually need two of these, so I'll grab another one. And I'll connect both of the Curve components to both of the Divide Curve components. Now we have a series of points representing a number of divisions, and the default number of divisions for both of the Divide Curve components is 10. For a little more control, under the Params tab, in the special section, I'll grab a number slider component. I'll double click in the number slider, change it to work with integers, a lower limit of 10, and an upper limit of 50. And I'll use this number slider to control the number of divisions for both of the divide curve components. Next, under the curve tab, in the primitive section, I'll grab a line. And I'll take the point outputs from both of the divide components and use those to create a series of lines. I'd like to make X-shaped cross sections, though. So instead of straight lines up and down here, I'd like them to be diagonal lines. And I can do that using the Shift component under the Logic tab in the List section. It's the Shift List component. Grab one of those. And the shift list component will go through the series of points and look at the first point as if it were the second, and it will look at the second point as if it were the third, and so on and so forth. So it shifts the list default by a number of 1. And you can change that offset value to another number, but we're going to leave it as 1. So we'll take the list of points, drag that into the input for the shift component, and then we'll replace one of the points in our line with that new list. And now you can see we have a series of diagonal lines versus straight lines up and down. One thing that we're not seeing here is a continuous pattern, and that's because these are closed curves. So what we need to do is tell the shift component that the beginning of the list should be viewed by the end of the list as just another number in the series. And that's controlled by the wrap value, which is a true-false toggle in the shift component. So you can right-click over that W and choose True under Set Boolean. And now the list doesn't have a break in the pattern. To complete the other side of the X cross support, we essentially do the same thing again. So we'll grab another shift list component, and we'll also grab another line component. And this time we'll just do the opposite taking one point, one list of points from one of the curves and one list from the other curve. But we still have our break in the pattern, so we'll change that wrap value to be true for the other shift component. And there is our series of X cross supports between two curves. Now this definition will work with open curves as well but in those cases you'll need to change the wrap value to be false. And that's how you use the shift component to make a list of X cross supports in Grasshopper for Rhino.